Good morning, Wildcats. Today's Wednesday, January 6th, National Cuddle Up Day. I'm Veronica. And I'm Cammie. Reporting from home, this is your World News Wednesday. On Monday, the UK's Prime Minister Boris Johnson introduced another national lockdown across England after chief medical officers moved their COVID-19 alert to the highest possible level, level 5. It is said this alert is due to a new, more contagious mutation of the coronavirus that surged in the UK as of December 2020. Many states across India are now on high alert as of yesterday after an avian influenza was detected in migratory birds. Over 2,000 birds were found dead in Himachal Pradesh and all tested positive for the flu. However, while it can prove lethal for birds, the H5N8 strain has a low likelihood of spreading to humans. Preschool teacher who was laid off after 20 years wins $250,000 lottery prize. In September, Joe Camp was laid off after 20 years of teaching preschool. A month after that, his father passed away and he was in a dark place. He kept on going with encouragement from his friends and family and found a job at a car dealership sales center. In December, he bought two Gold Rush Lottery scratch-off tickets and on the second one, he found out he won $250,000. 13-year-old Texas boy raises $6,000 to buy Christmas presents for kids in a homeless shelter. A young teen named Jackson Turner from Texas became the secret Santa for 61 homeless children. He raised $5,900 through GoFundMe in order to supply the kids at the Samaritan Inn with sneakers, coats, toys, and a hot meal. A homeless man in Atlanta rescued all the animals at a shelter after caught on fire. Keith Walker has been homeless since he was 13. The one constant thing in his life has been his dog, Bravo. On December 18th, as he was taking his dog for a walk, Walter found the shelter on fire. Although the fire and all the smoke did scare him, he rushed into the fire in order to save every single animal inside, which included six dogs and 10 cats. The SOS scholarship is a needs-based scholarship available for first-generation female students. Applications close on February 11th. Lions Club is offering a needs-based scholarship for $1,000. The deadline for submitting an application is February 12th. More information is in the College and Career Center. Anyone interested in playing girls lacrosse, preseason conditioning is ongoing at the main campus practice field after school from 3 to 4.30. It is recommended to bring both cleats and running shoes. You will need to have a cleared sports physical through the home campus website to participate. Information can be found on the Winter Park Athletics website. Attendance is not required to try out, but is a good way to prepare for the tryouts on the 25th. There will be a flag football meeting on the main campus in room 454 directly above the gym at 1.30 p.m. on Wednesday the 13th. That's all the news we have for you today, Wildcats. Have a wonderful Wednesday.